Okay, today we're going to add a follower uh, to this setup and um, and then create the holes um, in our layers here, the top and this also support layer for our, our follower so it, um, so it rides correctly up and down and then we're going to add a couple of uh, motion constraints with our follower to get it to move um, in our system. So let's, let's give this a shot. The first thing we want to do is uh, figure out where the holes need to be in this particular uh, setup. So we just added um, our cam in any place currently and then we're going to use this orientation uh, to figure it out. So right now it's constrained. Uh, we can grab this axle and we can actually rotate it. We want to rotate this so it's on z at zero degrees. So we want to go into that particular joint. Again, I usually turn the joints off because there's just too many of them to, to look at. But if you double click on it, we can change that to zero. So we know this is in the lowest position um, that we have. Um, so when we constrain um, our piece, we can actually, uh, we know what that offset distance is from the center point there up to the top to know where that um, follower needs to, to rest. So we're going to modify uh, one of these tops. I'm going to go ahead and activate this component, create a new sketch on top of it. And if you notice, we can actually see the axle running through here. And you can see the cam as well. So you can do some projecting of geometry here so that we get the hole right in the middle of the cam and right in the middle of this axle. It should sit uh, kind of right there. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and project geometry. Um, and I want to project uh, this cam geometry. So I wonder if I can... So if you look there, I kind of clicked on those to get those to pop up um, on the top. And then I'm going to project um, some other lines here, hopefully. I it's that top angle. Let's see if I can get the all of them projected. Another project. Let's do, let's try again. I think we're okay with, with just this for now. Um, this should work for us. I'm gonna re-rotate this back to the other direction. Okay, so this is our cam um, in its position and this is the center line of that axle. So this is good for us. I'm gonna create a sketch line and make a construction um, and just find the midpoint between these two. So I'm gonna click on here and here and that 